Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and I'm so happy you're here with me. Today, I'm going to show you how to transform two dollar store bowls into large decorative pedestal bowls that look so high-end, no one would guess that they only cost a couple of dollars to make. To start, I will list out the materials, and unless otherwise stated, all the materials for this DIY is from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. For our first bowl, we will need one large clear plastic square bowl, a silver metallic placemat like this one, which has a mosaic-like pattern and also comes in gold at the Dollar Tree. We will also need a silver hammer tea light holder, a small clear glass bowl, and a string of silver beaded necklace. And to help us with today's craft project, we will be using some tacky glue that dries clear as well as some hot glue. For our first decorative bowl, take the silver metallic placemat and place it flat along the bottom of the square bowl. To help keep things in place, I have opted to use a bit of painter's tape to keep the placemat from moving around while I glue it down to the bowl. And you'll also see that, that I'm cutting a slit along each of the four corners and removing any excess placemat before gluing things down. And while we work on this, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in for today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome to you. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Once the placemat is glued down to the bowl, set it aside as it will require two to three hours for the glue to dry to a clear finish. When the glue is dried, you should not see any white marks on the bowl anymore. At this point, you can remove the painter's tape from the bowl. The next step is to use some hot glue to adhere the silver beaded necklace to the rim of the bowl.
Then turn the square bowl upside down and glue the silver tea light holder to the bottom of the bowl, making sure it is placed exactly in the center. Repeat with the small clear glass bowl as well. As a finishing touch, I decided to also line the rim of the cle small clear glass bowl with the same silver beaded necklace as used earlier. And here is the final look for our first decorative bowl. I have decided to place a bunch of medium-sized Christmas balls inside and it looks absolutely beautiful. Comment down below and let me know how you would use this bowl. What would you place inside it? For our second pedestal bowl, you may recognize it from a previous project that I did. It was so well liked that I have decided to recreate it here as well. We will need one large round silver hammered bowl like this one. Although I found this at the Dollar Tree a couple of years back, unfortunately I have not seen this at any of their stores recently. If you can't find the same one, you can find a similar round bowl and spray paint it silver metallic. And similar to the first pedestal bowl, we will need another silver tea light holder and another small clear glass bowl. We will also need some silver rhinestone ribbon, like this one, which I purchased on Amazon. To begin, take the large round silver bowl and use some hot glue to line the rim of the bowl with the silver rhinestone ribbon.
Next, take one of the glass clear bowls and glue it to the silver candle tea light holder. Then, using some hot glue, decorate the rim of the glass candle votive with the same silver rhinestone ribbon that we just used on the larger bowl. The final step for this bowl is to turn the large silver bowl upside down and then adhere the silver tea light holder and small glass bowl to the bottom of the large silver round bowl. And here's the final look for the second decorative bowl. For this one, I have chosen to place some glass fruit inside. Comment down below and let me know which bowl you prefer, the square one or the round one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon.